Hi, I'm Vermont Secretary of State Sarah Copeland Hansis. And I'm Burlington Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanick. And I'm Winooski Mayor Christine Lott. The general election is November 5th, and this is when you'll decide who represents your community in the state and federal government. You'll be voting on everything from President of the United States to who will represent your community in the Vermont House and Senate. Because Burlington and Winooski allow all residents to vote on local issues, this year in Burlington, all resident voters will be able to vote on two local ballot items. Our democracy is strongest when everyone votes. The people who cast their votes in this election are the ones who decide our future. So it's crucial that you make your voice heard this November. Unfortunately, there have been past efforts around the country and in our communities to discourage people from voting. We're here to not only encourage you to vote, but to give you the facts you need in case someone tries to discourage you from voting in any way. Voter registration in Vermont is easy. Register to vote with paper form or online, and you can register any day up to and including the day of the election. To vote in state and federal elections in Vermont, you must be 18 years old, a US citizen, and consider Vermont your primary place of residence. There's no waiting period for any of these things. If you just became a citizen, just moved to Vermont, or turn 18 before November 5th, you're entitled to vote here. All Burlington and Winooski residents can vote in local elections. You don't need to own your home, and it doesn't matter if you're not staying in Vermont permanently. The only thing you can't do is be registered and vote in more than one place. If Vermont is your home, you can vote here. If it's your first time registering and you do it online or by mail, you'll need to provide a photocopy or some form of ID, such as a driver's license or a passport, a bank statement, or a utility bill. In person with a town clerk, this isn't necessary. You'll also need to take the voter's oath. Your clerk can do this with you, but you can also do it yourself online or by mail. All registered voters in Vermont will be mailed a ballot 45 days before the November 5th election. You can fill out your ballot and mail it back to your clerk's office, hand it back to them in person, or put it in an official ballot drop box. Or you can simply bring your ballot with you to your polling place on election day. If someone approaches you to ask about things like your voter registration, citizenship, or residence status, you do not have to answer these questions. Do not let anyone cast doubt on your right to vote. Election officials will never approach you to confirm things like your voter registration, citizenship, or resident status. All official communication related to voting will come via the U.S. Post Office and would either come from your city clerk or the Secretary of State's office. If you have any questions about registering or voting, contact your local city clerk and visit our helpful webpage, My Voter page at mvp.vermont.gov. Your vote is your voice. Make sure yours is heard this November. For information you can trust, go to my website and follow the Vermont Secretary of State's office on social media.